My name's Sam, I'm from New Zealand and I've been flying out here in Botswana's Okavango Delta for Helicopter Horizons for about three years now and it just never gets old. Uh, yeah, flying out here in Botswana's Okavango Delta is a completely unique experience, uh, you just don't get anywhere else. Uh, it's quite different to New Zealand, got a lot of mountains, uh, normally mountains on one side, ocean on the other. Out here, uh, especially this time of the year, there's just water everywhere, uh, looks like a, an ocean out here. So where we are right now is a six minute flight from Ambion Sandibi Camp. Uh, we're in the location where the first ever wild dog hunt was filmed from a helicopter and that was featured on David Attenborough's Planet Earth. So on our scenic flights we have access to the Delta's 50,000 square kilometres of pristine wilderness, uh, crystal clear waterways and just unrivaled beauty. When we do our scenics out of Ambion Sandibi camp here, we normally go up the Gamoti River or down the Santantadibi, both of which um, border their concession. Uh, no two flights are the same, uh, we can make it up as we go. Uh, if we see some action or sightings uh, in one spot then we can spend more time there rather than other places. And, and then halfway through we'll pick an island out, uh, any tiny island such as this one, and put it down for a bit of champagne. Not for myself, but you know, for the guests. Our scenics are unscripted and full of surprises. We don't always follow the same route, meaning each of our aerial safaris are versatile and unique and the perspective you gain from the air really gives you a sense of the vastness that this wetland wilderness has to offer. So when we're flying around on these scenic flights and we find a herd of buffalo or a herd of elephants, uh, we'll keep our distance so as not to disturb the animals, but then we'll also turn around uh, both ways to make sure people on the left and on the right side of the helicopters get uh, un unrivaled views uh, that you just can't get anywhere. So when we're up nice and high, we get to see all these different uh, terrains come together. So you've got the big waterways, uh, the drier lands, and then the, uh, the wetlands, all combining to create one big ecosystem, which is beautiful. On our scenic flights, we take the doors off, so everyone has unrestricted views out the side. And in our 44s here, it's, uh, yeah, everybody's got a window seat. Uh, so everybody's got a headset, so we can all have a chat together. You can ask any questions, we can point things out. You can help us with the flights, you know, if you see something out the left, let me know, we can come spin around a few times, so it's all interactive. So at the start, you know, when you're out here for the first uh, first couple of weeks, it's a bit tricky getting to learn the spots, but you know, as long as you follow uh, all your safety protocols and you just make sure you're um, staying out of anybody else's way, uh, especially game drives, you know, we don't want to bother them. Uh, then we can start to learn the terrain. Other pilots that have been out here before, you know, they'll give you hints and tips as to hotspots where, you know, the uh, animals or like the elephants come down for uh, their lunch or something. Uh, so it's always uh, certain times of the day, you know, you've got different areas where uh, we try to aim where we can get a couple of animals out there. The favourite things I've ever seen down here was just about four minutes down the road, actually. Uh, there was a herd of impala uh, just sort of minding their own business. And then this honey badger just came right up the middle, just going absolutely nuts. Uh, yeah, you don't see a honey badger every day, let alone, you know, tearing into a herd of impala. So one of our flights we did, uh, it was a quick little 15 minute scenic from the airstrip at Ambion's Sandibi camp, uh, up and around the river back to camp. Uh, within that time we saw 10 wild dogs, uh, there were 14 lions on a buffalo kill, and then just around the corner from that there was another 400 buffalo, thinking you know where's my mate gone. <laughs> uh, so my favourite season to fly out here is probably the winter time, which is June, July out here. Uh, you know, the flood levels are at their highest. Uh, temperature's about 20 degrees and, you know, it's just like flying over an ocean out here. It's beautiful. Uh, so flying out here during the summertime or the rainy season, which is anywhere from November through to about March, April time, has its own challenges. Uh, you get these big storms coming through in the early afternoon due to the high humidity. Uh, always a bit of fun to navigate those, but we'd never uh, jeopardize our safety. Uh, if we were to come head on with a storm, if we're going from one camp to another, we just put it on the ground, have, have a chat for half an hour, and then uh, these, these storms are they're quite consolidated, so they'll pass yeah, within 20, 30 minutes, and then we'll just carry on. So last year was one of the driest seasons that Botswana's had in recent history, uh, and this year's flood coming through is, just happens to be one of the biggest floods we've had in recent times. Uh, so seeing the transformation of these uh, dry floodplains has been unreal. Uh, sometimes we'll just be following one river uh, on our scenic flights and now that river is an ocean. So, you know, it's uh, yeah, unreal. So anybody flying with us for the first time, just remember to take a lot of photos, uh, but also sit back and relax, enjoy the flight. We're not just your pilots, we're your guides as well. So be sure to ask us any questions you have.